Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 2 of Clan Gen. So I may have been a little silly goose the first episode, and wasn't aware of some things, like how a bittern is a type of water bird. I thought Bittergorse's name had a typo in it, so I removed the N, but I guess it was supposed to stay there. I think I'm going to keep his name as Bittergorse though, uh, just, just because it's like ingrained in my head now. I also asked at the end of that first video if I should change a spot's suffix because I had two cats that had the same spot's suffix, but I think I'll keep it because somebody said it was like he was named after his mentor, which is really cute, but I am concerned about repeating names, so if I get too many cats that have um, the same prefix or suffix, I think I'm going to change them. I just don't want to like get confused over cats' names and whatnot. So let's continue with Den Clan. A uh, cat list. Bitter Gorse is staring off into space. Bat Kit is pretending to be a warrior. Next moon, sun, you're going to become an apprentice. I can't wait to see who his mentor is going to be. Branch Spots has been hearing the voices of Star Clan cats. Interesting. A Spots has a sore paw from a bee sting. Aw, sun. Holly Pond is feeling nervous. Flame Pond fell into the nearby creek yesterday and is still feeling damp. Tumblefoot is play fighting with friends. Aw. Gore Star is craving the taste of mouse. Fleet Holly is telling stories about when they were young. Sage Sun is feeling gloomy. Oh, why? I think Sage Sun is low key a, a protagonist in this story. Bug Frost is heading to the dirt place. Quimbly Bright feels a sense of dread. Oh no. Are uh, he sick? But uh, why? Oh, heat stroke. Okay. Uh, Marsh Kit wants to spend time alone today. Aww. Lost Kit wonders who their mentor will be. You have a few moons, buddy. Ron Kit is eating some fresh kill. Okay, so since we have a, a lot of kits and it looks like some cats are sick, I wonder who's going to be on patrol no apprentices since we don't have any. I'm going to send branch spots and her little crush out together. Branch spots noticed that the moss in the medicine den was getting old. They need to go and gather some more. Branch spots leads the way to the best moss, moss patch that they know with Sedge Sun following close behind. The two cats begin cutting off bits of moss and making their respective piles. Once the piles are a mouthful, they pick up the bundles of new bedding and start back to camp. Bug Frost and Hay Spots together since Bug Frost has a strong connection to Star Clan. I wonder what those two will get up to. Hay Spots has to attend one of their grimmer jobs as a medicine cat. The clan's burial grounds need to be tended. They're bringing along Bug Frost as their assistant for this trip. A Spots points out to Bug Frost each stone that marks the grave of a past clanmate, making sure that the other cat knows where to set their paws so as to not tread on anyone. Two cats solemnly go about their task. They pick up the useful plants from around the graves to take back to the medicine den and rip up the rest. Why is it that A Spots gets the interesting? The interesting ones. He gets to look at a a puddle and see a dead clan mate talking to him and he gets to go clean up the burial grounds. Those are interesting. I want to send Gorstar and Ollipond out on a border patrol. Ollipond spies a fat rabbit on the other side of the cold clan border. A tempting opportunity to be sure, but it may not be wise to hunt on different clans' territory. Hmm... I think I will not proceed. Your patrol decides that one rabbit isn't worth making an enemy. It's good. I don't want to upset any cats. And I'm gonna send these two out. As the patrol spreads out to hunt, Tumblefoot thinks... admits that they think they had a vision from Star Clan last night. No one can make sense of the vision. Uh, time skip. Uh, we'll go through all the tabs and not read everything from that. Batpaw has reached the age of six moons and has been made an apprentice. 
With Tomofoot as their mentor. Oh, that should be good. I'm going to skip relationships because I know that's like a long list, but I will go back to that. Quimbley Bright was hurt by a tough clan warrior after being ordered by Gorstar to go over the board. Gorstar? What's... You okay, buddy? <laughs> At least he's... Quimbley Bright is recovered from his heat stroke. Other clans, okay. Miscellaneous? Bat Paw starts to wear a cardinal feather on their pill after their friend gave them gave some to them. Aww. The clan mate gives Branch Spots a pretty cardinal feather and they decide to wear it on their pelt. That's so cute. I bet it was Sej Sej Pelt Sejlin? I think that's his name. Now I think I'm gonna scroll through this and if something pops out to me, I'm gonna read it. But other than that, I don't want to go through all of these. Tumblefoot finds the way Sage Sun acts increasingly uncomfortable. <laughs> Fleet Holly caught Haze Spots complaining about them behind their back. <laughs> Quimbly Bright trips over his son. <laughs> Bronkit is pretending to be Batpaw. <laughs> and Marskit heard an ugly rumor about Fleet Holly. Huh, I wonder what. Bitter Gores wants to spend time alone today. Batpaw is determined to master a hunting technique by dusk. Hmm, his, his, little, his little feathers look so cute. Branch Spots is gathering cobwebs. I wonder what your relationship with Aegisun? Ooh. I don't know if I want to continue with that yet. I want to see what his relationship with her looks like. Eight Spots was recently caught humming to themselves. Holly Pond is enjoying some peace and quiet away from the other clan. Other clans, from, away from the others. Flame Pond is listening to a clanmate struggle with love. <laughs> Injured. Burn has been hurt for two moons. Tumblefoot is chattering at the birds in the trees above. <laughs> Gorstar is looking forward to today. Flea Holly is giving the clan leader attitude. <laughs> yeah, I would give him attitude too after ordering Quimbley Bright over the border. Sage Sun feels a sense of dread. Why? What is every cat dreading? Bug Frost tries to set a good example for younger cats. I bet she, she wants to be a mentor to the kids. Quimbley Bright fell into a nearby creek and is still feeling damp. Marsh Kit is sharpening their claws. Lost Kit got into trouble bringing thorns into the nest. Ron Kit is crying after a rough housing too hard with the older cats. Oh, Little one. Oh, I wanted to look at Sage Sun's relationship with... Oh, maybe... Maybe I could set them up? I think... I think I'm gonna do it. It's official. Finally an apprentice. Uh, Tumblefoot and Batpaw. Batpaw said he wanted to go hunting, so let's go hunting. Patrol hears distant howling and wonders whether to investigate the noise. Uh, I'm a little curious to proceed. The patrol tracks the noise and discovers a coyote scavenging off a carcass. This is a predator they cannot fight. The patrol decides to return to camp and report the intruder to the leader. Perhaps they can return later to take what the coyote leaves behind. Thank god. Oh, thank god. I was not ready to lose cats yet. It's in Bug Frost and Bitter Gorse and Gore Star on a border patrol. While walking along the border, your patrol notices Jet Clan patrol renewing their scent marks. When the two patrols get close to each other, the patrol leader from Jet Clan gives Gorstar a respectful nod, which they return. The patrol re refocuses on on their tasks without stopping for a conversation, but a feeling of mutual respect has been fostered. That's good. Um, send Holly Pond and Sage Sun hunting. While hunting, Holly Pond comes across a rabbit burrow. 
The burrow is abandoned with no prey to be found in there. Mm. And let's send those two out gathering herbs. The patrol finds a nice sun to a nice spot to sun themselves. The sunlight energizes the cats for their herb gathering. Good. Let's time skip. Lampon has healed from their burn. Okay, thank goodness. I guess that's it. Fat Pa thinks Gorstar has a strange sense of humor. <laughs> Branch spots notice Bitter Gorse isn't doing a lot of work lately. Hmm. Ah, uh, everybody's not having fun with Bitter Gorse lately. Flame Pond prays that they aren't on a patrol with Sage Sun tomorrow. Oh no. Sage Sun heard an ugly rumor about Feet Holly. <laughs> Nothing else. Okay. Peter Gorge caught a scent of a fox earlier. Bat Paul is gathering moss. Branch Spots is looking around camp. <laughs> Ace Spots is craving the taste of vole. Holly Pond woke up on the wrong side of the nest. Flame Pond is having a good day. That's good. Tumblefoot is relaxing in camp. Gorge Star is making a solemn vow to protect their clanmates. Sleep. Holly is recounting daring expeditions for the younger cats to hear. <laughs> Sage Sun is feeling gloomy. Bug Frost thinks they're going crazy. Quimbley Bray is feeling excited. Aww. Marsh Kid is pretending to be the clan leader. Boss Kit is feeling underappreciated. Aww. Don't you worry, you're gonna be an apprentice next moon. Prawn Kit practices the hunting crouch. <laughs> okay, let's send some cats out. I'm gonna send Tumblefoot and Batpaw out training. As the patrol gathers together to train under Tumblefoot's leadership, Batpaw admits that they think they had a vision from Star Clan last night. The patrol talks them about whether it was a real vision as they train. Aw. Um, let's do Bug Frost and Bitter Gorse. Let's go hunting. Uh, get that flame pond too. Hunting. While hunting, Bitter Gorse comes across a rabbit burrow. Bitter Gorse catches the rabbit hiding in its burrow. <laughs> Send the medicine cats out. A nice spot to sun themselves. Feels great. And the cats have a successful discussion, talking about what came up at the last half moon meeting and whether it'll affect in clan. Hmm. Interesting. And let's send all you guys out on a border patrol. On their way to mark the far corners of the territory, Four Star starts telling a story of their ancestors to keep every cat entertained. It keeps the cat's minds off their long, shady walk. Patrol goes quickly and easily. Good. Save. And let's continue. Oh boy. We have Marshpaw. Reaches the age of six moons and has been made an apprentice with their dad as their mentor. Aww. Quimbley Bright is happy, watching in pride as Lost Paw and Fron Paw are made apprentices, and Bitter Gorse gets to mentor Lost Paw, and Flame Pond gets to mentor Fron Paw. That's good. Holly Pond's paws slipped on some rocks and their leg was dislocated. Oh my god. I wonder how long she's going to be out. Bug Frost <laughs> missteps and slips from a rock and dislocates a joint. Okay. Emily Bride's cat bite has healed, but the injury left them scarred. Ooh. Bosspaw trained extra hard to impress their mentor, but is extremely sore when they wake the next morning. Aww. Fronpaw falls into a river, but is saved by Haze Spots. Haze Spots, you're Becoming very interesting. I'm gonna scroll through here. Batpaw called Marsh Kit the wrong name. Hey Spots is giving Branch Spots a task. Interesting, that's your mentor. 
Gorestar had a huge argument with Holly Pond. Marshpaw caught Holly Pond in a lie. Hmm. Ron Pond noticed that Lost Paw is falling behind in training and offered to help them catch up. Aww. Lost Paw promises not to tell Marshpaw's mentor that they've been sneaking out of camp. Bitter Gorse wonders who will give them nine lives. Your, your leader's not dead yet though, buddy. Batpaw feels a sense of dread. <laughs> Branch Spots is running low on Burdock Root. I will be sure to do that. A Spots is staring off into space. Holly Pond is eating fresh kill. Flame Pond is listening to a clanmate's struggle with love. Tumblefoot fell into a creek and is still feeling damp. Gorestar is feeling sassy today. Sweet Holly is snoring loudly in their sleep. Sage Sun is feeling happy. Aww, that's good. Bug Frost is thinking about how awful kitty food must taste. Oh, look at he's got a little bite. Aww. Quimbly Bright is having a hard day. You've been having a hard few moons. Marshpaw is feeling down. Lostpaw is in the medicine den. Oh, his eyes are so cute. They're so bright. Frond Pond is relaxing and... Frond Pond? <laughs> Frond Pot is relaxing in camp. Alright, let's send some of you guys out. Let's add the medicine cats out on a patrol. They need to... They need to find a nice spot to sun themselves, alright. Talking about what came up. Okay. Not much happened there. Um. And. Flame Pond and. Rond Pond. Wembley Bright is. Okay, he's out. And Bitter Gorse is the other one. Okay. I think I'll send these cats on a training patrol. Flame Pond takes them out to see a big porcupine, a patrol spotted in the many glades of Den Clan. Flame Pond points out the cascade of spines as the porcupine snuffles happily around the forest floor, sounding like a newborn kit in the nursery. Ron Pond, Ron Pond, uh, Ron Paw looks a bit disbelieving, so Flame Pond darts forward towards the porcupine, making it throw its back up as the cat at the cats in a full threat display. Spines just as puffed up as Lost Paws Pill. Oh, that's cute. Let's send Tumblefoot and Batpaw, Quimbly Bright, and Marshpaw on a border patrol. While on patrol, Batpaw notices some suspicious some suspicious paw prints in the mud beneath the canopy. Batpaw soon realizes that the paw prints smell of Den Clan. It's not a threat. Alright, that's good. And we send both of you out on hunting. As the patrol spreads out to hunt, Sage Sun admits that they had a vision from Star Clan. The patrol talks to them about whether it was a real vision as they hunt. Okay. Man, having so many apprentices is really fun. Time skip. Brand Spots was trying to fluff, fluff up their nest when they discovered that they were a victim of a prank fox tongue. Now there's a sharp thorn embedded in their paw. Aww. Lost Paw's soreness is gone. That's good. Nothing else other than relationships. I'm gonna go through all this just to see you. Um... Flampon said something that rubbed Gorestar the wrong way. <laughs> they just said something that rubbed Gorestar the wrong way. Hmm. Eh, nothing really much. Oh, it's winter! Oh, it looks so... It's so dark, but so interesting. Bitter Gorse is napping. Oh, it's it's snowy in the sprites too. Batpaw is spending a considerable amount of time grooming. Branspot had a nightmare involving the rushing river nearby. Oh, oh same as. I hope nobody gets like 
caught in a river. Weird that both medicine cats are doing that. Have that same dream. Holly Pond is gossiping. Claim Pond had a nightmare involving the rushing river. Oh god. Oh no. Tumblefoot is in the medicine den. Gorestar is rethinking their life choices. You have not been having a fun time as leader. Lee Holly is picking the burrs from their pelt. Sage Sun plans to visit the medicine den. Mmm. Bug Frost is looking around camp. Quimbley Bright is guarding the camp entrance. Marshpaw wishes they were still in their nest sleeping. Lostpaw is wondering if there would be a good swimmer. No. No, we are having too many dreams about rushing rivers. Frond Pond is hell. Frond Pond? God, I hope that their name is not Frond Pond. Frondpa is helping the elders with their ticks. That's it. Oh, let's go on a patrol. I'm gonna send Lostpa and Bittergorse and uh, Gorstar on a border patrol on their way to mark the far corners of their territory. Gorstar starts telling a story of their ancestors. Keeps the cat's minds off their long shady walk. Let's send those two out. The medicine cat patrol pads out. Sedgson tells Grandpa about the dream they had last night and what the Star Clan vision could mean. They have an in-depth conversation about Sedgson's vision as they walk. By the time they head back to camp, they have a good idea of what sh they should do with the information. I hope it has nothing to do with cats and rivers. And send haste spots out with just by himself, I guess. Notice that the moss in the medicine den is getting old. Makes their way to the best moss patch. Spend a bit of time slicing their claws. Careful to get roots or dirt in the pile. They take a moment to wrap their jaws around the heap and make their way to camp. That's good. And we have Tumblefoot and Batpaw. Mm, going to Border Patrol. They notice that a tough clan scent has strayed into their territory. Their patrol follows the scent deeper into their own territory, eventually stumbling upon the tough clan deputy. The deputy explains that they've come bearing important news for you later. Suspicious, but assured of their intentions, your patrol escorts them to camp. That's interesting. I wonder what- I wonder what news. Let's send you guys out training. The patrol quickly devolves into ghost stories and leaving everybody on edge. Ronpa wonders aloud if one of the ghost stories is true. The other cats gather close to comfort them. Time for the silly games to end before somebody- the one actually gets upset. Aww. Saved. Let's- I'm gonna do one more moon. I wanna get through like five moons at a time. What? Wait, whoa, wait. Tumblefoot went missing for a few days? Brand spot. Okay, well, we got, got Whiplash here, we got a cat had gone missing, and Branch Spots is announcing that they are expecting kits. That's good. <laughs> it's, uh, has it been pop back, it's doing better. Flame Panda has gotten green cough. Fleet Holly had a bad fall while taking a walk through the territory and once found had to be carried home. Oh no. Uh, health. Um, at least Holly Pond and Bug Frost are doing better. Tumblefoot missing for you. What are you doing, Tumblefoot? If it's... Leaf Bear is not the season. Batpaw is wowed by how well Frondpaw did in training today. That's good. Roll through this a little bit. Oh, what? Ace Pod's had a fight with Gorstar. Huh. Hmm, let's see. Um. Quimbley Bright made Holly Pond laugh again and again. <laughs> oh, Lost Paw saved a piece of fresh kill that they know is Frond Paw's favorite. That's cute. All right, let's go on a patrol. Let's add Bitter Gorse and Lost Paw and Frond Paw and let's send Bug Frost for funsies. 
border patrol. Your patrol comes across a small dog right on the border of Den Clan territory. Mm, I'm a little nervous, but let's see. Mobbed by cats and near blind with blood in its eyes, the dog flees from Den Clan, yelping pitifully. Okay, I didn't think that they'd go that far, but all right. Let's send Quimbly Bright and Marshpaw, Batpaw, and Tumblefoot. I'm so glad that you're back. On a training patrol, Tumblefoot suggests this might be a good chance for the cats to practice teamwork. Everyone has a nice practice session, and their coordination with and trust in their clanmates grow stronger. Let's just send those two out herb gathering. Hey, Spots tells Branch Spots about the dream they had last night and what the Star Clan vision could mean. Branch Spots can't make sense of the vision. Oh. Um, let's send you guys on a hunting patrol. Patrol approach. The patrol approaches a two leg nest in the woods while hunting. The patrol has a successful hunt, avoiding any two legs. Let's save. Oh, I kind of want to do one more. But no, no, I'm just gonna keep it like that. Clan is saved. We're on 10 moons. Um, and I guess that will be it. Thank you for watching. I'm still very curious about what all those dreams about rushing rivers are. And I wonder what that deputy had to say to Gorstar. It seemed very important. Thank you for watching and that will be all for today. Bye everybody!